Hi, it's Richard Brown here from Abound Power Planning. Uh, I'm over in Belgrade, Serbia with our power planning team that now extends to approximately 21 people here now. And um, I thought we, what I would like to share with you in this video is uh, a little quick interview with the director of the operation here, Milan Petrovic, who was trained in Australia. And I'm going to fire a few questions at Milan about um, you know the staff and the people and so on. I thought that would be really um, something that uh, you guys would like to hear about. So, Milan, firstly, uh, if I'm an advisor in Australia, um, the thing that uh, that would be of some concern to me to outsource to uh, uh, an international power uh, operation is the quality of the people. Now, first and foremost, Milan, you were trained in Australia. Can you tell us a bit about that sure. career? Sure. Um, so I, I completed high school in Australia and I completed the economics and finance degree in, uh, at RIT University. After that I went straight on to um, the CFP um, and I worked a number of years in financial planning before coming to Serbia in 2008. So I've got a uh, very firm knowledge of the, the practical side of things, um, which has helped to actually build up the power planning area um, here as well. That's that's fantastic, Milan. And the um, uh, so you'd be very familiar with you know our tax legislation and all that and all, all those. Oh yeah, issues. that's all, right. all, 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 all that all that stuff that's all part of financial planning. So and that experience has helped me to uh, pass it on to the guys here who've done extremely well over the past few years. So just on that, just on that team of people that you've got working for you, what sort of the people in Australia? What sort of qualifications do they? Actually, how? Most of the guys have economics degrees, some have masters, and have, uh, others have um, similar degrees, but the minimum is, is a, a degree, a bachelor uh, degree of uh, education. Um, so so they've, they've got all the, all the theory, um, and what we do is give them some of the, the, the practical knowledge, and, um, and they're pretty quick to apply the, their theory. To, to, the, to the practical side of things as it happens in Australia. Just with the economics degree that they um, attain in, in, uh, in um, how long is it roughly taken to get to that point? Um, it takes a while. Yeah. It, take, it takes, on average, probably probably about seven, seven or so years. Why, so is that, why is that? Because it's extremely difficult. Yeah. Um, and it's not easy to get through the exams, and there are a lot of exams, a lot of units. So once they get through that, they, um, they, They've got a very, very good handle of, of economics and finance and accounting, all these different areas. So it'd be fair to say that these people are um, highly regarded from an academic and um, uh, perspective. Well, uh, well, anyone who's finished an economics degree here has, um, they, they know what they're doing. So they're, they're able to contribute pretty quickly once they get into the workforce. Okay, so just um, just in terms of then, then transitioning across to learning our rules and regulations in Australia. How have you found them in terms of picking up that knowledge, their keenness and what sort of training programs have you put in place? Right, well, um, we, we, we do have an introductory program that goes for a, a couple of months with the guys. Um, and, and then uh, in that program we go through all the different areas of, of tax emissions, information, um, investments, uh, different entities, individuals, mutual funds, trusts, and so on. Um, so, so uh, like I said before, they, they do have the theoretical knowledge, and it's just a matter of applying that um, to uh, the day-to-day -day running of, of, of and doing the work. Uh, the guys pick that up extremely well. So once they, they, they start working on, on, the, on the job, uh, they can make a, a very uh, significant contribution within months. We found that the, um, things happen pretty quickly. Just in terms of um, the other practices I know and talking to other people, accounting firms and stuff in Australia, when they outsource to places such as India and China or, or, or uh, uh, Malaysia and so on, one of the things that comes back is um, you know, the problem with the English and um, uh, how that impacts the advice that people give and, and um, uh, what have you guys done over here in order to help so because the documents we see are very good. Right. Well, we, we saw initially that 
that um, the level of English that's required is, is extremely high because we are preparing professional documents that are presented by advisors to their clients. So um, the English has to be perfect. Uh, for whom English is a second language, that is extremely difficult. So we, we identified that as an issue and, and we've engaged a, a, a professor of English to actually uh, help in the ongoing training um, and, and to actually, uh, so apart from providing ongoing training to, to the staff to actually review documents as well. So we've basically eliminated English or potential English grammar as, it, as an issue. Um, and, and while you know, no one is perfect, <laughs> you know, mistakes can happen at various levels, but, We've definitely managed to close off English as <laughs> as a potential area of, of issue. Well, I, I think that you know that you know you've covered off the education, the the um, the staff development, um, the the English, and you know you've built this up. And I've spent a few weeks here at the um, Belgrade office and found that the staff are extremely capable and. Um, very keen to learn and um, mm -hmm. and um, wanting to know more by the day. So, um, it, you know, for any advisor out there that's looking to outsource their uh, savings advice or records of advice, um, you know, the, the operation here in Belgrade certainly ticks all the boxes from uh, from from that perspective. So, well done. So, so in this video, I, we just wanted to. Allay any of those fears that you might have as an advisor about outsourcing, and this is a real operation with uh, real people, as you'll see. So, um, thanks for listening in, and uh, bye for now. See ya.